everybody, the lights are out. I'm going to show the um, C siphon overflow and uh, the power outage situation and what happens. Um, basically, you got this is my sump. You got water flowing from here out of both tubes. I don't know if you can see the second one, but same thing as the first one. All goes down, blah blah blah, and turn back up. This is the overflow. This here is an aqua lifter, and basically what it does is it sucks the air bubbles and water through here back, pours it back into the tank. There's a little or overflow you can do in your top of your tank. Well, there's the dual overflows, the hoses to reduce the gurgle that stick out the top here. And what we're looking at is the siphon. If I can set this light down. Goes down, oops. Goes up and over and back down. Let me grab this light. Basically, what I'm gonna do is unplug the aqua lifter and the return pump to simulate a power outage. Just for uh, those two saying, Basically, the lights and every filter would go out, but this is the main concern is the sump and the aqua filter, just to show that what would happen if the power would go out. There you go. These two pumps here, or these two plugs on the left are the ones I'm going to unplug. Power is off. It is draining. Uh, sump starting to fill up down here. The one to the left is the return. You get a reverse siphon since it's under the water. And I'll show you in a minute how I stop that from not going underneath the elbow there. It usually would suck till the water got below the 90 there, which would be my return shooting back in. But the power's off, the tank hasn't overflowed. Neither has the sump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it back in to simulate the power coming back on. Give me a second and I will plug them both back in. Both of them plug back in. Still got a siphon. So in 600 gallons still. My tank hasn't overflowed. And neither has a sump. Everything's back up and running. I've done this repeatedly, real time test. I recommend everybody do it that way if they are making a sump or using an overflow versus a drilled tank. Uh, real time's the best way to go. I wouldn't just go by markings on it on a box or anything like that. 